watching powerlessly from Gaza as Egypt continues to widen the gap between them. The Egyptian military says it is building fish farms in an expanding buffer zone along the 14-kilometer border. It is hoped this will also put an end to an underground network of cross-border tunnels. People in the border town of Rafa say the Egyptians began flooding the tunnels late on Friday. It's the last thing 73-year-old Mansura Abu Sha'ar needs. She's already lost two homes in Gaza's long history of conflict. With her husband and daughter now ill, she says she just can't lose another one. I am very much scared. I already listened to shooting day and night, and now I live in fear of flooding. It could happen any time. That's why I'm always tense and scared. We can't sleep like other people. The tunnels were used over the last eight years to smuggle goods and people into a blockaded Gaza. The Hamas government made millions in taxes from these operations. Hamas is also believed to have allowed fighters and weapons to pass through here, a trade its neighbors want stopped. This is salt water that was pumped into one of the smuggling tunnels from the Egyptian side. There are 1,200 such tunnels in this area, and this is just one of them behind me. Now, the people that live in Rafa fear that continued flooding could destabilize the ground and cause landslides. But they also fear that it would contaminate the water source. There's very little drinking water for the people here as it is. They struggle to get food, petrol, and have to live with daily power blackouts. Now they worry about irrigation for what's left of their crops too. We hope the city of Rafa could reflect our brotherhood with Egypt through commerce and delegation exchanges. But we were surprised that instead the Egyptians are pumping water along the border, which only makes the already existing siege even more difficult. People in this border town say they long for the day when there won't be a need for underground lifelines. But many have lost hope that it would happen in their lifetime. Mansura now sits outside her house for hours and late into the night, on alert so her family won't be swept away. With her eyes on Egypt, she says she feels helpless and more alone. Marga Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Gaza.